Eastside O dispatch, Moonshine Air Attack. Moonshine Air Attack, Eastside O. Okay, Tanker 09 completed its drop load return out of Pocatello. We're in contact with Tanker 01. Once dispatch gets things rolling on a fire, one of the keys to setting up operations is air attack. And that brings in guys like Joel Curley. Joel, just give us a brief description of what your job entails. Well, first thing that we're going to do is provide information back to dispatch, to the ground resources en route, to the aerial resources en route. And once we get there, we're going to coordinate the airspace as well as talk to the ground resources and create a plan. Hamburger air attack on air to ground. Hotel is on scene in the dump fire and we'll be switching over to air to ground. Okay, sir, uh, we got the seat that wants to come in there and give you some help down there. Can you uh, clear some of those engines out and we'll uh, tie in right where uh, that two track is and run something off to the east for him? Yeah, I copy. Thanks. We'll get that done. This aircraft has six different radios in it. We're talking to six different factions okay, at once, down. trying to coordinate information. Uh, safety issues, uh, additional resources needed, anything like that uh, that's more effective at the fire. So you're sort of the leader on the fire for everybody involved, from air tankers to ground crews right on through. Uh, in the air, we are the leader. We coordinate all the airspace. Uh, as far as the ground, once the incident commander gets there, we work with them hand in hand on what's the best uh, way to put out the fire, where the people are needed the most, and we're just, we're helping them out as much as they're helping us out. So you're kind of the eyes in the sky for the ground commander once they arrive on the scene. Absolutely, that's a big role that we play as a safety role. We can tell the IC of what the fire is going to do, the next step of it, and we in fact have a lot of responsibility watching other people and what they're doing. A lot of times this side of the fire doesn't know what this side of the fire is, and we can be the link uh, in the middle of that. Sounds like it takes a lot of experience to do your job. It takes a, a wide variety of, of experience. OK, uh, we picked up some drift there into the smoke. We're going to come back around on a live drop here and, uh, and, and redo that one for you. OK, copy. You have to know what they're going to do next and now. the best and, uh, resource for, the, for that need. Uh, it helps with experience of engines, helicopters, smoke jumpers, hot shots, all different kinds so you can really play with all the players. I know. That was it. Third time the charm ranger will return out of open. Okay, no. Well, Joel, I'll let you get to it. Thanks a lot. You bet. What do we have today, partner? Dave, we got a fire that's uh, 256 for 32 miles, two air tankers and a helicopter. Okay, I'm ready. So Marina, once the call comes in, what does your job entail? Well, as a helitech supervisor, it's my responsibility to make sure that the helicopter and the crew are ready to go at all times for initial attack. Initial attack, what, is, what all does that involve? Initial attack means basically that we're one of the first resources on scene. Uh, when we get there, we do a recon of the fire, find a place to land, the firefighters get out, we hook up the bucket and start fighting fire. All right. And that's coordinating with who then, Marina? With air attack, um, other aviation resources on the scene, smoke jumpers possibly, and engine crew members that are already on the ground, including um, our, also the uh, dispatch center as well. All right, great. Well, good luck on this one. Well, thank you. All right. OK, guys, so we've got a fire. It's in the South Hills. Frequencies we're going to be using are air to ground south and TAC-1. Do you have any questions? Okay, I'll give you more information when we're in the air. All right. Okay. 